Okay, welcome to uh, part two of this um, this three part video series for women over forty who want to get rid of belly fat and um, and perhaps it's been accumulating over the years. So welcome aboard. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a great day, and hopefully you already watched part one yesterday. Okay, did you watch part one? Let me know. Stick a yes in the comments if you did, and while you're at it make sure if you're watching the replay, stick a hashtag replay down in the comments as well. Let me know that you're up to date. You've seen part one, you're on part two now. And if you have any questions, I can follow up with you. We can carry on the conversation in the comments right now. And while we're at it, I'm just going to make sure I'm ready and I'm live in my group. So today we're going to uncover what, what we know about belly fat and what could be making things worse for your body and your waistline okay so um yeah we'll delve into that in a second okay so do make sure you say hello if you're watching live let me know what you're up to and as i just said a moment ago are you up to date did you watch part one yesterday let me know and say hello as well so i'm also going to talk about the hidden solution that uh, that might help you out. But um, yeah, before you do, make sure you, you say hello if you're watching live. And if you're watching the replay, make sure you stick a hashtag replay in there so that I know you've watched this video and I can follow up with you. And we can carry on the conversation as I just said a moment ago. So any questions as well, do let me know, stick them in the comment section and I will jump in there and, uh, and answer them later on for you. So let's dive in, shall we? So quick question, quick question. What, what do you think? What What's the best way to lose fat? What have you heard? Hey, Dawn, I see you jumping in here. Good to see you, Dawn. Dawn, while you're at it, while you're here, what is the best way to lose fat? What do we know? What do we know so far? In just in general, what have you heard? What are some of the things you've heard in the past? So let me know in the comments now. Let me know what you've heard and perhaps what you've tried as well. So give me some examples. So you lot that are watching right now, watching live, give me some examples. Let me know what you've tried, what you've heard. Perhaps it's, uh, it's just diets or you've heard maybe keto or you've heard exercise, gym. Let me know. So good, good stuff. We've got calorie deficit from Caroline. Good stuff, Caroline. Thank you. And who else have we got? Who else have we got in there? I'll try and bring up. So I haven't got any comments in my Facebook group at the moment. Um, what else, girls? Come on, hit me up. So exercise. Yeah, Dawn's jumping in here. Exercise, clean eating. Cut him back on carbs and sugar. Keto, thank you. Uh, morning, Fraser. Good to see you. <laughs> Minus thirty-four Celsius. Where, where are you in? Are you in Canada, Fraser? Are you in Canada? I'm not sure where. I got. It's pretty shoddy here right now. Looking out my window, it's a bit miserable, but it is nowhere near as cold as that. So, thanks for those exam examples, girls. Um, now, here's here's something that I've seen over the years. It's um, it's quite a common thing. So Leah's in as well. Good morning, Leah. And yes, Fraser is in Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely freezing. Bob's in. Great to see you, Bob. Look, you're all jumping in here. This is what I like to see. Get you in here. Get you in for part two. So are you up to date as well? I hope you're up to date. Those that are just jumping in late. So did you watch part one yesterday? So here's here's the thing. I've been, I've been trained you know, hundreds of women personally over, over the years, not just online, or thousands of people online, but personally. So one of the, the things that many women look to is when when they want to lose their belly fat is exercise and it tends to be exercise more i'm going to try and exercise more 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 so more gym more exercise classes more running and while that might be helpful it often doesn't work out the way you want it to and i'm sure there's, there's a few of you <laughs> have experienced this as well so hi danielle good to see you danielle much better time today for everyone, eh? Everyone, everyone's uh, everyone's woken up on a Tuesday. So here's the thing, all right? Exercise is a physical stressor, okay? And if you're a woman over 40, which many of you are, and you're already dealing with some hormonal changes, as I'm sure you're fully aware of, now, if you throw more exercise at those hormonal changes, it can uh, be too much of a stress, okay? And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this tomorrow, about what we can do as well. But let me give you an example here. So a couple of years ago, I was a, as a member of a gym. This is you know, pre-COVID. And I was a member of a gym. I used to be quite regular going there. Mr. W would go for a swim and I'd have a workout. And I used to see the same 
same people going to the gym. You know, everyone's a creature of habits. We go at the same time and everything else. So I used to see the same lady and she would do the typical thing of 10 minutes cross trainer, 10 minutes elliptical, 10 minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes on the bike, same thing. But she was you know, working quite hard. She was giving it some welly. So I'd take my hat off to her. She was putting in the effort, putting in a shift. But, and it's a, it's a big but, she, well, I didn't, I didn't see any changes. So over the months that I used to see each other, and I didn't know this lady, so I don't know what her goals were, but you know, I'm guessing most people go into the gym, you look around, a lot of people, and, and looking at her body shape, I'm pretty sure she would be there to, to try and lose some belly fat, try and better herself. And I do take my hat off to her because she was in there and she was giving it, giving it some welly. And the fact that she's in there exercising is good for her. It's going to be good for her heart, her lungs, and general health. But in terms of helping her belly fat, not so much because if your body's already stressed and you throw in you know, lots more exercise at it because that tends to be the thing oh, i'm just going to exercise more and while that might work in your 20s 30s when you get sort of later 30s 40s doing lots more exercise especially the the high intensity stuff it's not going to help it's adding more stress into the uh, into the mixing pot and with your hormones already going a little bit squiffy it's perhaps not the best thing to do so there needs to be a, a better a better way of doing things there and we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow so let me know have, have when you've been trying to lose belly fat have you gone down that that route that route i'm speaking of, speaking american there you call it routes we call it routes so have you gone down that path have you tried just doing more and more exercise like thinking okay i just need to exercise more that same trap that, that many many women have, have fallen into over the years and you know if you're putting in that sort of effort you want to see some sort of change some sort of you know, visible, visible changes in your body. So you look in the mirror, you can see your belly getting slimmer. So especially if you're putting that sort of effort in. So as I said, I never knew this lady. Now, I don't know what her goals were, but I'm pretty sure she was there to, to try and lose some weight, to try and lose her belly fat. And unfortunately, she has actually fallen into that trap. So it can actually have, you know, throwing, especially if you're, if you're really trying to throw more exercise at it. I know, I know women in the past that have done back-to-back -back exercise, exercise classes, whether it's spinning, body pump, and then something else. And if you're over 40 and you're, you're struggling, you know, struggling with sleep, um, maybe due to night sweats, hot flashes, all those sorts of things, then not getting enough sleep and you're throwing all this exercise at it, can have a negative impact on the way your body handles it. And unfortunately, it can actually put a padlock on your belly fat. So while exercise is, is good in general, it depends how stressed you are. And there's lots of other stress as well, physical, mental stress. And by throwing more exercise at an already stressed body, it can put an even stronger lock on your belly fat. And uh, we talked about visible fat yesterday. So if you remember rightly, visible fat. <laughs> Danielle's but nothing, nothing wrong with speaking American. Okay, thank you. Oh, I do, you know, I, I sometimes get accused of going a bit American. But because, you know, you lot, you all, many, many of you are, are American. So um, it does tend to happen that and a lot of my friends over in America. So it does tend to happen sometimes. So Leah's put, yes, it does sound familiar as well. So we spoke about visceral fat yesterday and how deadly visceral fat can be. It surrounds your organs and strangles them to, to, to a certain degree and it pushes your belly fat out. And we want to avoid that. So you know, throwing more exercise and already stressed body can that padlock on your belly fat and when you go off piste on your diet shall we say i mean at this time of year many of you may have already experienced this you know there's mince pies out there's chocolates candy gingerbread all those sorts of things and if you're already stressed trying to throw in more exercise or you know while you're still trying to lose belly fat what can happen is that padlock is going to get much stronger. And when you start to overeat at times, it all lands on your belly and it makes it difficult to get rid of it. So let me know your thoughts on this. Do you do you agree? Or um, have you experienced this? You know, try to do more exercise and it's not quite panned out the way you wanted it to. Okay, let me know. So Daniel's put strength training as opposed to cardio. So got to have a balance, yeah, for sure. I mean, so I know some people, same thing, if you're, banging out the weights it can still cause you to stress yourself um so 
more exercise is, is, is sometimes not the answer. And often that is a trap that many women fall into and thinking, I've just got to exercise more. Just exercise some more and more. And yes, if you're not doing any exercise, you definitely want to start exercising, but throw more, you know, going the other end of the spectrum is not a good idea. So let me know, have, have you experienced this? Have you tried to do more exercise and then more and more and thinking, right, I just got to exercise more and this will go. And then it, it doesn't. So do let me know. All right, so that's reason number one that many women struggle to, to lose their belly fat. So more exercise doesn't necessarily mean losing belly fat and can actually increase your body stress. So if you're, if you're banging, especially if you're banging out the, the high intensity stuff as well, but it does, it works the same way. So Danielle, if you're strength training all the time, um, putting in unnecessary stress. Um, so shorter workouts are often better than longer workouts. So it's, it's find out where, where you're at right now. Um, but especially for you ladies that are over 40, as I mentioned, already dealing with hormonal issues, those changes. So something to definitely be aware of. Okay. Right. So the next reason and another misconception, and it surrounds food this time. And so a lot of women look at food as it's just, just a number. Okay. So it's a, the count calories, the macros, and, and, um, it drives it drives me nuts okay I, it really does drive me bonkers. because i hate the counting calories don't encourage people to count macros you can still lose lose weight lose belly fat without doing that um but food is much more than than just a number okay so let me tell you another story of mine just to give you this example okay so i used to i used to know a, a lady an old client of mine called samantha and um she struggled with her belly fat and although she was fairly slim elsewhere, you know, arms are slim, not no problems there, legs slim, but um, face all fine, but it was all on her belly and certainly some visceral fat on there. Um, but at the same time, it was a certain type of foods that uh, may trigger sort of bloating and things like that. So for Samantha, what we did, we we cut back on certain foods, and bread was one of one of her particular foods that we noticed had a big 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 issue. So it was bread, there was dairy, um, obviously sugar, things like that, but bread was the key one. And over the course of five to six weeks, she lost nine inches off her belly, off her waistline, which is huge. So any of you that have done your measurements before know that nine inches is absolutely massive. And she did have quite a big belly there. Um, but it shows that it's not just about the calories, okay? You've got to look at the food that you're eating and how it impacts your body. So I always give this example. So we say we've got 500 calories of ice cream and 500 calories of broccoli. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there's way more broccoli there, okay? But they're the same calories. But they're going to um, they're going to affect your body very, very differently. So while calories are certainly part of the equation, it's much more than that, especially when you're over 40. You want to be eating the right foods for keeping your hormones in check, making sure you don't bloat yourself like Samantha was doing. And then I can see we've got a few few comments jumping in here as well. So I've tried. So going back to the exercise here, we've got Lee. I've tried CrossFit exercise and lost some in the beginning and then hit a plateau. So told to be clean and that would go. So um, we've got Danny only two, three days a week on working out. It's good. We've got uh, Dawn. I've tried exercising more in the past. So in the past, and now I'm sounding like my wife. She says past. She's much better spoken than I am. I'm now trying to be more purposeful of exercise, quality over quantity. That's good stuff. Great stuff, Dawn. That's what I like to. And I know you've been doing well because you've been updating me every so often. So and let everybody know. Actually, I'm going to ask this in a moment. But uh, well, while we're speaking of Dawn, let everyone know what's worked for you. If anything has worked for you, stick it in the comments down below. It's going to help everyone out. And uh, Fraser says uh, bread. Yeah, no, no go. So yeah, so calories are definitely part of the equation, but it's not just about the, the you know, the not just about the calories or the macros. It's about the quality of the food. So we don't just mention the quality of the exercise, but the quality of the food as well and how that impacts your body, your digestive system. So these, these are things that we need to, to, to think about and not just think as, as food, as, as a number. Okay. So next up, the, uh, the third, the third issue that um, that I often see is, is is women following the same same plan, doing the same thing that they've done for years and years and years, without any change, and so or any progression as well. And I've mentioned this to a few of you before, but so 
the third reason that women often struggle to lose weight is because of the lack of lack of change so your body's changing but you're keeping the same exercise plan you're doing the same thing as you've always done um same to the lady perhaps that was in the gym that, that i noticed 10 minutes on the treadmill cross trainer bike same thing all the time and some of you and i, I when i used to do exercise classes back when i when i worked as a personal trainer in london i would do the spin classes and the body pumps and it'd be the same ladies coming in week in week out and I'd have to get up off my bike, go around and turn everyone's resistance up. And same for the, the body pump classes. Women coming in, same weight every time. So there's got to be some progression there. And perhaps a different way of exercising. So change things up a little bit. And same goes for your diet. If you're trying to do the same thing you've always done, it's not necessarily going to work. So you're doing the same thing, but expecting to see something different. So your body's changed and the same old routine or the same old diet is, is not going to to deliver this the best results especially with those changes that you go through as you come over 40 then into your 50s and 60s in particular so it's time to change things up if you haven't already okay so next next let me well let me let me let's let's see while while, while you're all here when was the last time you changed up your exercise plan and when you came to lose weight, what did you do? Have you done the same thing for years? Have you fallen into that, that trap of doing the same thing when you go to the gym, doing the same, going, especially if you're not, if you're scared of the weight, sometimes that you go, you head automatically for the cardio bits of equipment and you go treadmill, bike, cross trainer. Have you done that? Let me know. So <laughs> I'd love, I'd love to know what the case is for you and what you've tried in the past. So, so it might be the case. You know, if you've been struggling to lose belly fat and perhaps need a bit of a bit of a kick up the backside to force that change, so it's got to mix things up slightly. And so, you know, to well, it might be clear now, you know, especially watching this video, that you need a new system, uh, perhaps a different way. So, let me know. You know, have you have you been doing the same thing? Let me know. See what we've got here. So I've got. We've got Dawn, who's doing who's doing my Lean 19 and TT30. Been game changers for me. Good stuff. That's what I like to hear, Dawn. We've got uh, Bonnie. So I did Lean 19 and lost tons of chub, but uh, let it slide with bad food and sleep and missing workouts. Follow, following your guidance again. So good stuff. So And uh, absolutely guilty of that. I, I know so many people just do the same thing over and over again. Okay. And I think for, for many women, especially if you're going into a gym environment, sometimes there's a bit of fear. Um, and perhaps if you're at home, you just don't know what to do. Okay. So Danielle is doing yoga, more body weight focused, taking a break from the gym and never being a fan of cardio. And so cardio wise, I like to do the, the high intensity stuff, little body weight mix. So still doing resistance work, you know, squats, lunges, things, but my cardio generally is kettlebells and, um, basketball, my Thursday night basketball. That is my main cardio. Okay. So yeah, so it's, it's you know it's great to see where you're at. So we're all on the same sort of page, okay? So maybe, may, maybe it's time for a change, okay? So let's re, let's recap, okay? The number one reason is that uh, is people you know they're doing the same thing all the time, okay? So well, actually, that was that was the third one. So let me let me do a quick recap. So the first reason that women struggle is they throw more exercise into an already stressed body. And that's not a good way to go about it. It's going to put a stronger look on your belly fat. And when, and when you do try and exercise, when you do try and eat better, it's going to be difficult to get rid of, okay? Especially if, you, if you're stressed out already. And then second one was looking at food as a number. Okay, food is much more than a number. It's going to affect your body very differently. My uh, my old client, Samantha, you know, her massive belly bloat. And yes, there would have been some visceral fat in there that we worked on, but not eating the foods that bloat her, like bread in this uh, this case huge impact you know nine inches off it you know on a four to six week period off her belly huge okay and then the third one you know getting yourself a new plan trying something different rather than doing the same thing over and over again you know what you did in your 20s and your 30s not necessarily going to work for you now in your 40s 50s 60s okay so time for a change okay so right where are we i think we're almost we're pretty much done here so let me know let me know because we're going to delve into some of this more tomorrow, but let me know what you thought of this video. Has it been helpful? Stick a like in there for me now if it's been helpful. If any of this rings true for you, 
Okay, let me know in the comments what you think, what you've tried if you haven't already told me so far. And we've got another one in there. So I can't exercise at the moment because of the stress fracture. And I was going to uh, do intermittent fasting that helps me every day. So yeah, yeah things like intermittent fasting certainly definitely you know, help. I, I recommend that quite often. And Leah's had an issue with um, elbow surgery in 2019. I know you've been through a lot, haven't you? So trying to get back to my body weight exercises, doing Pilates hip and um, Miss Lady. So stayed steady in the weight and inches looking to lose both. So it's good stuff. So yeah, let me know what you've tried. What's worked for you in terms of belly fat, okay? Love to know. And I'm sure the rest of the ladies would love to know as well. And we're, we're keen to, to help each other out here. So make sure you come back tomorrow because we'll be here tomorrow, one o'clock UK time. And uh, we're going to talk about the hidden solution, okay? The hidden solution, which is actually free rolled into one. And uh, it's very effective at getting rid of that belly fat, especially for you ladies over 40 that have been struggling for years, well, maybe struggling for months, but certainly struggling for years. And some of you may be struggling for decades. And it's, it's time to change that. So make sure you tune in tomorrow, one o'clock UK time. And if you have any questions or stick them in the comments, love to carry on the conversation and see where you're at and how I can help you. But we're here one o'clock tomorrow. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Went on a little bit longer than I wanted to, as, as sometimes is the case. And um, hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure you hit that like button. So I know, I know you've watched this and, uh, and you've actually found value in it and you appreciate this content. So other than that, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back here one o'clock tomorrow. Okay, looking forward to it. Bye for now.